Namaste, everyone. Good morning. Serena here. I have my hot water. Does it body good? <laughs> and I have made my bed. Have you? <laughs> I have my clean and clear little space set up for me, so I've now moved through the transition and invited myself into the day. Um, and today I added another thing, which is I changed my clothes. Um, so after brushing teeth and getting the hot water, the clothes changing is something that, especially when we're now home, can be easy to start to sink into. I'm in pajamas, and it's good for a couple of days maybe not to have that pressure, but it's also important to create gentle structures to help us feel awakened. And this is part of yoga practice just as much as a physical practice is. Um, so having these, uh, these things set up for ourselves allows us to invite ourselves into the day. So let's actually now start to move a little bit and then we'll come into simple stillness. I'd like to offer more space, more stillness, um, potentially a shorter video today so that you actually can turn off for a while. Um, even just a few minutes, whether you have a baby um, or children or partner, family, people you care for around, whether you're single and on your own like me, um, or you have your pet, this is something that I feel, um, you know, is starting to uh, be wonderful that we have transitioned into an online world. I'm very used to it, but we're also starting to have a lot of energy, <clears throat> a lot of resources. So ironically, right? what starts to happen, we're just changing the venue of, of a lot of, of energy and almost, um, dare I say it, too much, right? So um, I'm playing with the idea of tomorrow offering you a simple written practice just to see, you know, kind of mother birding all, all of us, including myself, to just, shh, you know, we can turn off the phone for a few minutes too um, and actually take a break from this now and then, um, not to say ignore. So let's practice that today together. This is day three, and when we are setting up habit, having a system like this is really good to continue to have, um, and then we start to break and make variations in it. So welcome again to day three. Let's take a little bit of asana, so either seated, if that's how um, you already are, you can extend the legs, and you can flex the feet, or you can do the standing, which I'm going to do since I have the lovely sunlight. And you can ground down through the feet. You don't need a mat. You can just have your floor. <laughs> if you want a mat, that's fine. And I apologize for the sound of the air conditioning. Um, so lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, relax forward all the way. Inhale, half lift. Notice if your half lift is your forward fold, that's okay, meaning you don't have to get all the way down. Exhale, fold all the way as much as possible or stay in your half lift. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bring the palms to touch. Again, reach the arms around and up. Exhale, fold, widen the arms all the way. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Lift to stand all the way up. Like you're gathering space, bring the palms to touch or alongside your body. Pause here. Maybe smile just to activate euphoria, happiness chemicals. Huh? And step with the feet a little bit open, come into a squat. You can also rest into the squat. So there's a little shrugging of shoulders. This can help to open the shoulders. 
and lift back up tall. Now let the shoulders drop. Rest into a gentle squat, as much or as little as you like. You can also roll the neck a little bit gently here. Open and close the jaw. And come back up to stand. Let the shoulders relax. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears, roll them down. Inhale, shoulders lift and exhale round. One more time, inhale and exhale. Good. And come to sit, however comfortably in your space. And we'll take a gentle neck roll. So many of my friends have been saying that now they've transitioned into a more remote platform, especially teachers who may be used to teaching in person. Even though it seems like a simple transition, there's actually quite a lot that's changing in our system when we sit like this at a computer. So when you're doing this, this is a side note, just do lift your computer to be at eye level as much as possible when you're working all day. If you're bending down, you're going to create more neck tension. So let's release. So bring the chin toward the chest. Feel space in the back of the neck. and then gently rotate your right ear towards your right shoulder. Keep the right shoulder lowering down. So for crunching, you're creating more tension. See if you can create space. Feel like it's chasing towards your shoulder. You should feel space on the left side. And then rotate back of neck. Feel the crunches and pops. And then left ear to left shoulder. Again, shoulder stays away as you feel space and then chin toward the chest. Good, we'll take another run in the opposite direction. So left ear, left shoulder. Rotate all the way back of head to back. Exhaling now right ear to right shoulder and then chin toward chest to lift tall. You can pause and do more of that if you like. Settle into your seat. Breathe in through nose or mouth with eyes open or closed, all the way. Breathe out. Gently constrict back of throat. Breathe in. Breathe out, slow the breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twice more, noticing the position of your body, adjust as you need, breathe in, breathe out. For this last one, we'll do lion's breath with sticking out the tongue. If you have kids around, it's super fun with them too, breathe in, breathe out. Let all of the waste energy come out and feel power in that practice. As we come to sit upright, notice if the spine is jutting forward or backward and see if you can find a neutral position where it's like someone is lifting your spine up on a string. You'll feel a little bit of activity in your abdominal muscles by doing this. If you're pulling too hard, you'll lift at the shoulders and create more tension. So it's a balance of the both. You're lifting up like with a string, but your spine is also relaxed and open. Lift, or let the hands relax onto the thighs if you like. The palms can face up or down. Just intuit what feels better. Eyes open on a point so that you can, if you need to keep an eye on people around you, you can in a gentle way. Otherwise the eyes can close. Soften the jaw, tongue to the bottom of mouth. As you breathe in, saying to ourselves, I am clear. Breathing out, I am here. I am clear as I breathe in. I am 
here. Let go of that mantra. You can keep it if you like, just giving yourself stillness. Just observe the experience. Eyes can be watching your thoughts and see if they dissolve as you observe them. Or you can bring your attention to the point between the eyebrows and a bit above. palms to touch at the center of your chest, just observing where you are in the experience. You can always stay with this, pause the video and continue in silence. Maybe to rub the palms gently and then bow the head. If the eyes are closed, blink them open, maybe lift gently at the corner of the lips, it really does activate that nice um, intention of feeling good you know things may not feel perfectly set up for us but it feels nice um, to be present and we can still find pockets of, of joy and clarity through all of this i want to empower you to give yourself room so tomorrow like i said i'm going to play with the idea of giving us a practice but that involves actually turning off um, and giving ourselves a space to really be present with what the world is giving us. It's an opportunity. So there's still a bit of fear that we might be feeling and the connectedness, which is why such platforms like this are lovely in balance. If we find that we're taking these now and gripping onto them tightly too, um, because we can't be together in person, the world and the earth and the universe seems to be asking us to also say, you're okay in yourself, you're okay. Um, so if your circumstance allows just considering turning off the phone, I did it a bit yesterday um, and it really served me well. So I just wanted to offer that to you, setting a nice intention for the rest of your day to when you feel that tension and tightness, it's okay to let it go. <laughs> it's okay to let go for a little bit. Um, we'll still be here. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me and stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll keep you posted, but something will be offered, whether it's encouragement to tune out or to practice together. <laughs>